que é, em, que é aqui no, no North Rhine-Westfalia, que é um hub na Alemanha. Nós encontramos um projeto que é super bacana, que é o Monocab. E o Monocab é um projeto revolucionário que é, é totalmente sustentável de transporte, principalmente para as áreas é, rurais, né? ou longas distâncias, mas com todo o conforto. O conforto em que, é, de fato, dentro da cabine é, tem uma tecnologia embarcada que faz com que não só seja sustentável, mas uma, uma engenharia completamente inovadora e, é, obviamente, aí um projeto que tem um consórcio entre universidade e companhias é, parceiras que visa entregar aí em milestones até 2030 a um projeto comercialmente viável. Então vamos conferir aí o projeto e o andamento dele é, com a turma aqui é, do Monocab. We are from the University of Applied Science, TH um, OVL, from North Rhine-Westphalia, and in two and a half years we, we have um, constructed this um, um, monocap tech test vehicle in Technic Readiness Level 5. It's gives nine um, Technic Readiness Level, nine will be the prototype, and now we are in under construction to build them up in the next years. Okay, and this is how, how this is energized, how it moves. It's based on the magnetic it's, it's gyroscopes. And for the gyroscope, we, we got Martin. And Martin, he will be the doctor of, of, of stabilization. I'm writing my PhD thesis on this uh, monocap on the stabilization system, for instance, the development of this. And yeah, that's my part, actually. The monocap has a power itself. So it has a battery, like an electrical car, similar. So that don't don't need an overhead line and the infrastructure, which is a uh, yeah, very good solution because we don't need to, to change the infrastructure in this context. And uh, yeah, one of the special um, contexts here is that it drives on only one rail. And for this, uh, we need a stabilization system to, to, balance, um, to balance this vehicle. And for this one, we, uh, yeah, we use two systems, for instance. Uh, one system is uh, control moment gyroscopes. So two gyroscopes, two flywheels, rotating at high speed. And furthermore, we have trim mass, which is moved under the vehicle, and uh, both systems balance this one. And now we have the possibility to have a look at this because the cabin is free. I think we go upstairs. Below here, there's the trim mass. So here, it is. If if you move in the vehicle, you can see that it's also moved. So the center of gravity is adjusted by this one. And furthermore, here are the gyroscopes. So the white ones rotating in this direction at about 5000 rpm right now and uh, with this movement by the chain this is controlled and yeah it's controlled in a way so that the vehicle is balanced and all disturbances like wind is uh, is compensated it has an electrical battery and also electrical motors so it's very similar to a, like a car but of course it's a rail vehicle and we have a steel Steel wheels, yeah. Special steel wheels. This is a very special. It's with two flanges. It's not like a normal train. I show you. I bring Martin will I will tell you because what's the reason why? And I take the form that you can see it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So how long does it take? So it, it is in commercial operation already, or it is not ready in a, for a commercial. This one is the first test vehicle we built. You also see that this interior is not the final design. Okay, it's a prototype. It's a very elegant prototype, I'd say. It's only, it's only for testing. It's not a prototype. Prototype will be t uh, the level nine, and we are still level five. Minimal viable product. For a technic readiness level, as a development will be in technic re in levels, and we are five. It's a test um, vehicle now, and the prototype will be nine. So Martin is right. Got it. Got it. When do you think? You're gonna be ready for you know to to make make, make, make that scale. Oh, Professor Shake does it. You see, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, and it's the the gyroscope is working, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can learn it. So, the, the next steps in our roadmap is um, first of all we have now funding projects to um, answer the main basic questions. All these projects end uh, in end of 2026. Okay. After that time period, we want to work with private investors and to make the final uh, implementation, the final development, so that um, our aim is 
to 2030 I have a first serial production and a first commercial operation. This is uh, this is awesome for us because we are, I was telling him that we are building the, the city of the future of uh, a, one of the biggest festivals of music in the world, which is called the Rock and Rio. I don't know if you heard about it. It, it, ha it happens in Brazil for 40 years already and in Lisbon for 20 years. And uh, the next type of the festival is to become a smart festival. So we're going to bring the whole a smart city, uh, you know, concepts to inside of the festival, not losing the, the, the tradition or what, what people want in a festival, but bringing smartness to, to that kind of environment. I was telling him that each day you have 8,000 people a day in a small space, like, you know, the space of a relatively small space eh, because of the, the festival, yeah. So, uh, so we need to be smarter than the cities, right, to, to be effective over there. So this, this is where the, the insight comes from. And I, I was wondering if uh, your monocab would be, would have a fit with that concept. So maybe imagine that if this can bring the artists from, from, from the, the backstage to the stage, right? Stuff like that and people are actually already. So do you think that would be possible? Like, Yeah, it sounds very nice, of course. You can think of uh, something like that. Yeah, yeah I think so. And then the, the, the crowd could, could, could shake it, it doesn't matter, right? The sustainable goals need some um, innovation tourism. That we bring all these good ideas for sustainable goals uh, with this concept, this other concept, to the people to see that's very smart, that's is funny, that makes sense for the purpose of what we do. And it sounds very good to bring it to music together. Sure, this is, this is awesome. He could embark some music here as well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm incorporating already. So I show you the design concept. I have to move away, bring the design concept. Here is the, uh, the wheel, here is the special wheel. And then we show because it's inside the interior, will like your own car. That's what we have for the quality. So I will show you on the picture. Oh. Thank you. So what is that about? So this is just, a, um, you, you can see here how the um, wheel is designed. But the, the wheel wheel, of course, it is under there. Here we can see just the, um, the layout. Okay. And um, what's the specialty here is that uh, we have these flanges on both sides. In the normal rail vehicle, we only have a flange on the inner side because of the fact that we have a two, uh, we, two wheels at normal. We have um, no problems uh, with uh, Yeah, with, with this wheel. But in our case, of course, we need, we, here's the rail. So we, we need to fix this to make yeah, sure. so that we don't. Uh, yeah, well, the rail, right? Yeah, that's awesome. So I'd like to show that the interior. Wow, that's awesome. So good as your own car and it's sustainable from the ideas. Um, it's reused textiles and it's on the ground. There was cork, cork maybe from Portugal, from okay. yes, and it's uh, natural. It's a, These are my uh, uh, NFK composers. Yes, from you, you see, it. this is the reason why it's brown. And uh, so, what we want is for the quality. It's good as your own car. In your own car, you have your own music. You can telephone, nobody is disturbed because it's your car and you can make it like this. You drive to this, to your position. You can drive by your own in this car because in autonomous, it's important the, the feeling of security. And if you go by night in an area, there's no other people, you frighten not the technical, doesn't work, you frighten for the other for the foreign people. So that's what we want for the rural areas. Bring the idea, good as your own car, with this um, innovation, innovation um, technique from Martin told us. That, that's awesome. And then, then this is, uh, and, and, and how long does it go? Like uh, the autonomy is for, How long? It's uh, for you mean operation time or yeah, yeah. I, I mean from one city to another city or for neighborhoods or so we due to the fact that it's currently under development, we don't have fixed specifications. But our aim is that it should get operate uh, four to five hours okay. uh, without recharging. So after four to five hours, it needs to recharge with. You know what what speed it goes like? Uh, with four or five hours over uh, what distance? About uh, 60 kilometers per hour is the um, approximate speed. So yeah, so yeah, you can calculate the cell. Like 350 yeah. plus kilometers per hour, the artists come to. <laughs> it will be very fast. Yes, in, 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 a, in a straight line, right? It's not life in the <laughs> Yeah, I remember that I used to live in, in Belgium, Brussels, and I 
I used to go very often to, to London to work. And uh, then I was in the, 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 the Euro train, right? So, and sometimes I was trying to work and it's arriving already. Come on, that's because it's, it's this straight line is, is, is easier to get faster and safer, right? Yeah, and we in the rural areas, we have this small old tracks and that's the reason for 16 kilometers per hour. This is, and we want to have more stops than normal um, uh, stations you have because we want to bring people in the whole area. Awesome. So guys, thank you so much for your time and for your explanation here. This project is awesome, awesome. I'm amazed about it. And uh, uh, I hope we can uh, speak up more about it because we can we can have some collaboration here, right? We like this, that will be done, yes. This is a marketing man, right? Yeah, he's a, he's a marketing man. Yes. I, I can see, I can see. It's the reason you get this, he's punchy to design a stick. Thank you so much.